What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Ryden. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos. I make videos about weight loss, healthy plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. Today's going to be another haul video. Yay, a grocery food. haul. More food. <laughs> Yummy. We, we were running out of a lot of things, yeah. so we have replenished our Especially stores. fruit. Especially, Especially fruit. fruit, yes, because Ryden's a little fruit monster, eats a ton of fruit. So we're going to show you what we purchased today, and we hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe below if you haven't already, and let's get into it. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to start with, Ry? Some broccoli. Broccoli. I think we have started every single haul video with frozen broccoli. I think so. <laughs> We love broccoli. We eat it all the time. It's one of Ryden's favorites. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Yummy. Yay. So we have a roasted Brussels sprout video that you guys can check out. I'll link it up here and down below. And we've also just been um, microwaving these as yeah. well and enjoying them. With, with hot sauce and milk. With hot sauce and milk. When do you eat that during the day, Ryden? At breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Arden's taken to eating some green vegetables in the morning with me because that's what he sees me doing. And, and it's usually Brussels sprouts. And it's usually either broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Right? All right. Yeah. Mixed veg. Yeah, stir fry veggies. Yummy. Yum. Great alongside many different dishes. We love having ramen or having it with rice and tofu. Lots of different options. Oh, or, or, or just one, like, or just rice or, or just one. Yeah, rice, potatoes, any whole grain that you enjoy. Or um, even sweet peas. Even sweet peas, yeah. So I'll link any recipes that we mention. I'll link them below so you can take a look if mm -hmm. you want to check them out. Mm -hmm. What is it, Rye? What's that? Mango! Mango chunks. We love mango. It's so nice and refreshing for a snack. Love it in smoothies, ice cream. You put all the fruit in oats as well. All the fruit kind of has the same purpose. Snacks, smoothies, ice cream, all that good stuff. Yeah. And here is some berries. <laughs> Mixed berries. Yum. So this one is four berries. So it's strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, and raspberry. And it's absolutely delicious. Right. Cherries. Cherries. We love Yummy. our cherries. We'll link our chocolate cherry and ice cream video below. So mm -hmm. good. Mm. All right, that's it for freezer stuff. So we're going to grab the non-freezer stuff and show you the rest of what we purchased. So we're back. We put all our freezer stuff away. Now we're going to go through our refrigerated items and also our pantry items. So do you want to start with these things? I want to start with this. Oh, you want to start with that? Okay. What's that, right? Cucumbers! Cucumbers! <laughs> yum, 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 cucumbers, yum. right? Yeah. You especially love cucumbers. <laughs> Here, we'll do these next. Let's do these next. Banana. Bananas. We always Yummy. have bananas in our grocery hauls. Every um, single time we go shopping, we buy another bunch of bananas because we love them so much and use them for many, many different purposes, including snacks, breakfasts, you know, for on sandwiches and with oats. In cereals, pancakes, waffles, yeah, muffins, muffins, loaves, and ice cream cookies, all that good stuff. So many. Onions. Onions. Um, Yum. Um, um. Are you going to do that with every food? <laughs> <laughs> we love onions. We like to buy the red onion usually. Yeah. More antioxidant power and all that good stuff. Onion, yeah. We use these in a ton of different recipes from chilies to marinara yeah. sauce, burgers, all sorts of things, yeah. and stir fries. Just the options really are endless with onion and it adds That's such crazy. lovely flavor. We really enjoy it in salads and all sorts of other stuff. 
peppers. Ooh, I'm surprised you guys are holding up all the peppers. Awesome. So we have red pepper and green pepper. Again, yummy for... Onion, onion, onion. Wow. <laughs> yummy for snacks. Mm. Yummy for marinara, chili, all that good stuff. It's too for scramble. Kale. Yummy. Got it. Onion, 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 onion. Wow, this is the video of <laughs> yummy noises. Gotta get your greens in Ooh. any way you can. I'll link my greens video up here so you can check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It's just easy ways to incorporate green vegetables into your daily diet mm -hmm. and to make your food still be delicious and yeah. enjoyable and not, you know, yeah. not like, oh, it's a big drag that I have to eat greens. No, it's fun, it's good. So, kale. Also, our next green. I can hold it. Spinach. And this one, this time we bought some baby spinach. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it myself. Yum, 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 yum. Oh my God. Getting a little wild over here. Okay. We opted for baby spinach this time. Sometimes we just buy the regular and mix it up. Spinach is awesome. Good for smoothies. Our tofu scramble. All sorts of different recipes. We throw greens into pretty much everything. Apples. apples, yum. In our hauls, we typically show apples too because most times when we're shopping, we buy apples. This time we grabbed some Macintosh apples. Those are some of our favorites. We eat apples for snacks, of course, but we also use them in our oats in the morning. We make apple cookies. All sorts of good stuff. Mm. All right, do you want to show this one next? Yeah. Would you like to hold it up? <gasps> what is it? It is. Do you remember what it's called? Uh. It's a type of melon. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, yay. We love cantaloupe. We love buying melons in general mm -hmm. in the spring and summer months. They're just so juicy and yummy and delicious. More fruit. <laughs> What's this, Rye? It is yummy grapefruit. Yummy grapefruit. Dottie is not a huge fan of grapefruit or sour things in general, but Mommy and Rye are mm. We love the grapefruit, love sour, sour fruit and sour foods in mm. general. <laughs> grapes. Grapes. We like buying grapes. They're delicious. <laughs> we eat them for mm. snacks. Riordan loves them, of course, as you can see. They're super <laughs> sweet and amazing. Our tofu! Tofu! We have quite a few tofu recipes on the website <laughs> that I'll link below, including our tofu scramble, um, a baked spicy tofu, uh, a ginger balsamic tofu, lots of different options there. Ooh, yeah, there's a peanut buttery one too. Yeah, we yeah. use the tofu or tempeh for that one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll link everything below, but tofu is a great one. Nice plant protein. We always buy the firm or extra firm tofu um, just because that's what we typically use for our recipes. Tempeh. Yummy. So we use tempeh in a similar way. Also have a couple of tempeh recipes on the website. Uh, we re recently put up the buffalo tempeh recipe, which we've been really enjoying. So um, I'll link to that, of course. This one we never tried, but applesauce, but it has also pears in it, which yeah. we never tried. Yeah, so we do tend to buy applesauce. But this time we found apple pear, some unsweetened Let's apple see. and pear sauce. I'm sure it'll be delicious, but we haven't tried it yet. It'll be a new one for us to dig into and see what we think. And we'll let you know. What you think. I, I think it might be yummy. Daddy was pretty excited. I suspect it will be quite yummy. Yeah. I'm going to try a brand new type of applesauce and it's apple pear, but we usually just have apple and it's brand new. It actually tastes better than just the apple one. Wow. It actually tastes better. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like more sweet tasting. <laughs> Does it taste like apples and pears? No, but it like the pear gave it more sweet. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so would you buy that one again? <laughs> okay, cool. 
Yummy. Is it sour? No, it says I make funny faces when I like stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yum. Milk. <laughs> Ryden just calls it milk because that's How milk we know it? for him. <laughs> it is almond milk. It's the Earth's own unsweetened almond milk. We do prefer this variety over <laughs> some other almond milks out there. Almond Breeze is also a good one. And yeah, we put this in our coffee, sometimes in tea, oats, smoothies, cereal. nice cream. Oh, cereal. I always forget cereal. I know. Every time I was like, cereal. You're like, cereal. That's cereal the is the milk essential in my brain. <laughs> Here. Oh, oh, Rye's holding up the next yeah, one already. He's ready already. He's ready already. So ready what's already? that? Do you know what that is, Rye? I don't know what type, but I know that. Yeah. yeah, so it's soy milk. It's unsweetened soy milk by Silk. And we like to switch up our plant milk sometimes. Yeah. So we have a little bit of soy in the house and a bit of almond milk. Both are equally delicious. Now peanut butter. Peanut butter. So this time we grabbed the smooth natural peanut butter. Sometimes we get crunchy. We mix it up. Wild, wild people in this household. We go through a lot of peanut butter, Rarden and I especially. Yeah. 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 All right, what's this? Seeds. Flax seeds. So we buy whole flax seeds and then we grind them up in our Vitamix blender. And I always add flax to or chia seeds to my breakfast in the mornings. Neat. To get those omega-3s in. And yeah, they're just a great complement to a lot of different meals. Throw yeah. them, you know, ground on top of a salad into a smoothie on top of your oats, we mix used, it in. Yeah, you know, sorry, we were flax, flax eggs. eggs. Yeah, nah. in unison, because we both got there. There you go. How about this one, right? Sam, quinoa. Quinoa. This is a teeny bag of quinoa, but surprisingly, a small amount of dry quinoa turns into quite a bit of cooked quinoa, if yeah. that makes sense. So yeah, a little bit of quinoa, had to restock. Mm -hmm. Love quinoa. Salsa. Yum. Yum. <laughs> mm. Okay, we like this uh, Herdes. Is that how you say it? Herdes. 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 I think so. Uh, anyway, we like this brand. It's very yummy. I think it has salt in it, but yeah, it has a little bit of salt. But it's pretty much just tomatoes, onions, peppers, a little bit of salt, and coriander. So super simple ingredients. It tastes really like fresh, even though mm -hmm. it's a shelf stable kind of salsa. Uh, so yeah, it's really good. We really enjoy it. And it's yummy. It's yummy. Put it in our refried beans. Oh yeah. Pita. Pita bread. So so now we can make pita pizzas. Oh yeah, we're gonna make pita pizzas. That's gonna be fun. Remember? Yeah, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. I think we're actually going to do a video about pita pizzas. Yeah, we mm. should do that. We'll have a pizza party. Yeah, because they're nice and easy. Daddy likes making them, and we can also maybe do Daddy's pizza dough. Mm. That could be So good. that we can do a comparison for people. And, and, and which, like, which people would like the pita pizzas more or the dough pizzas? Mm -hmm. That's true, yeah, or you know, depending on how much time you have in the kitchen too, because the dough pizza takes a lot more time than just whipping up a pita pizza. We could use pizza hummus. <gasps> we haven't done pizza hummus in forever. What do you think? <laughs> 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 All right, plans for the future. Watch out for that video coming yeah. at you at some point. Now some bread. Some bread. We often buy bread because the boys like to have toast in the mornings or for Chris, toast in the evening sometimes. Mm -hmm. So this is the spreaded power squirrely bread. We've mentioned this before, it's oil free. I believe this one is also salt and sugar free. I always get confused of which is which. This one has a little salt, but uh, yeah. Very yummy, filling, delicious. Dates. Dates. You love dates. Oh, right, I'm kissing the dates. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, we love dates for a little snack. We like to throw them in our berry chia jam to sweeten it up a little more. 
uh, what else? Date syrup we make mm -hmm. and put into recipes. And even chocolate date syrup. Mm-hmm, chocolate date syrup too. We like to keep our dates in the fridge so that they stay nice and cool and kind of not as mushy, if that makes sense. Like they're a little harder almost. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we just really enjoy them that way. And Riordan and I made a whole video about dried fruit. If you want to check it out, I'll link it up here. It's fun. We just talk about our favorites and um, we sort of taste mm -hmm. test different dried fruit on camera. It was really fun. I've recently come around to eating dried dates as a snack. For the longest time, it was just these two. I got into it recently, and as Meg said, we keep them in the fridge right at the yes. back. They get really cold. To me, because it's been years since I've had the real version of this, it was almost like having a toffee or a caramel. And I used to love that stuff pre-plant-based life me. Uh, so very nice snack. Very good. Yeah. Very decadent, Yay. sweet, dessert-like, but also healthy and whole food plant-based. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. You remember to give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe below if you haven't already and hit the little notification bell to be notified whenever we upload a new video. Ring ring. <laughs> that's, that's the notification ring, ring. bell, I think, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <goodness. laughs> I also wanted to say a very big and heartfelt thank you from us to you guys. We're now at almost 2,000 subscribers on the channel. So our little Plant Fit Meg community, our little tiny corner of the internet is growing and it's very exciting and very cool. Yes. It's been super fun to see the channel grow and to connect with you guys and have chats about recipes and tips and what you guys have been cooking and making and how your plant-based lifestyle is going and what stage you're at. Like just so many great conversations, great comments. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. So keep them coming and share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it or find it helpful. And we just wanted to say a very big heartfelt thank you from our little Plant Fit Meg family to you guys. Thanks so much for being here. We hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.